Robert, nice to meet you. And congratulations on your performance today, if I may say. You've made us look forward to set pieces again. <laughs> is, how important a part of your job is that? Yeah, it's massively, obviously. I'm on the training ground working on them every day. My manager's got me doing day before a game, making me work on the set pieces. Because I feel like it's one of my strengths in my game. So the more money you work on, the better the better you get, and then the more chances you create in the game. Striking the ball is one thing, but you've got to vary it. As a team, you've got to vary the options and, and make it difficult for the, the defence to anticipate. I guess that's one of the biggest items on the agenda for the rest of the season. Yeah, of course. Like, we want to be very, very awkward to play against. Every single team, don't really, I don't, we don't really want them to come here. Fancy want to play Huddersfield. So we kind of, we've got like a little philosophy we've got, a little style of play we've got, and I feel like we will be a very underdog this season. Tell us about the the perception of how the game went for, for the boys today. How do you feel at the point that you've achieved today? I felt like the draw was, for them, I felt like that's just the best result they're going to come at the game. I felt like we deserved to win the game. I felt like it was on top most majority of the, of the game. Um, I felt like we had a lot of chances that we should really and truly, the players that went to, went to the right players. But like in tra- nine times out of 10, they're putting them away. But today, just that day, we're going to draw put it to the side and we go again next week you do so much running off the ball sob you know you, you've got to pull into space all the time that needs to be appreciated doesn't it by your teammates finding you yeah, of course I also always want to impact the game anywhere I can if that's on the ball even doing unselfish runs so I try everything to try to create a bit of space I feel like I'm a player who wants to excite the crowd home or away wherever they are and constantly try to get on the ball and try to make something happen that said, today you had defensive duties as well, didn't you? Because of the, the specifics of COVID tests for some of the guys down the left, no Harry Toffolo. How do you find defending as part of your role? Of course, it's obviously gaming every time I play in a position. Like, you've got to learn. Obviously, at times in my career, there's going to be positions where I'm not, not my best position, but I'm going to have to play there. And luckily today, obviously, I played left wing back. And to me, it's not very really foreign for me. I played it for my last team. So... I felt like it's just, for me, it's just wherever the manager wants to put me, I play and I cause a headache every time I play, really. How much of a pain, how, how disruptive has it been for you guys to, to lose four squad members, as well as the head coach, in the build-up to the start of the first league game of the season? Of course, obviously, all big, big players, of course, and um, obviously losing Toff, losing Ruffles, obviously means a massive shift in the team. So. He decided in me, the man decided in me to go into a position that not my best position, like I said. But obviously, we've got the players, we've got loads of people, we've got good depth this year, like the manager said during pre season. So I feel like, obviously, that's the world we live in right now. And I just feel like we've got players that can still do a job. And like you said today, dominant game for us. And I felt like, even with the players not here, I feel like we still should have walked off for three points today. Well, the, the fixtures will soon come thick and fast, you know. you. You've got a full week to prepare for Fulham, which is great. And you've also got something special to prepare for. We're going to assume you're going to be selected next week. A full house at home for Huddersfield Town, something you've not experienced before. Yeah, obviously I can't wait. I'll see seeing them today, seeing them through pre-season. So obviously knowing there's going to be a full house on, on, um, on Saturday. I've got some people coming, myself, family members coming. So can't wait. I honestly can't wait. I want the day to come tomorrow, to be honest. But... Listen, all the boys, all of us, we're all excited for the first home game. We kind of want to make home a little fortress for us where teams don't want to come. So, yeah, like I said, we're all looking forward to it, especially myself, looking very forward to it.